locks Spaghetti's hut. There we go, jumped right in. The New York Classic. Uh, East Coast Classic. Straight to Battlefield. Actually, it's become the Melee Classic. Everywhere you go now, more people are like, trying to just Battlefield. At least yeah, my it's becoming more widespread in the majors. I went pretty far west. I've been to some Colorado and Utah locals, and they said New York Battlefield. I'm like, all right. <laughs> At Genesis in uh, Oakland, so many people were just like Battlefield. No, no problem. I'm glad it's a standard. Uh, 69% blessing. It's a quick stock. And he also has a full set buffer, even if he does end up losing this one. Do you happen to know if Two Saint was in winners or losers at last? Um, I'm pretty sure he, he won from winners. So this is a bit of a different situation from last time. No sweat. Don't even try to the recovery. Just come back on stage. Keep the momentum going. Playing the uh, the fidgety stop and go hack style, which is actually it, it's the best style possible to play against Puff. Oh and then yeah, that's so much Thre off threatening of it. that space but not over committing at any single point. You get to do any grounded move or aerial right after it. Takes another stock for it. That's just the best way to fight against Puff with any character, really. Everyone Make has sure that ability. you have no <laughs> wasted movement at all. Make sure you have all actionable options available whenever you need to. You get to use the full kit too. He even throws out a forward air there. Intentional or not, like you could follow up off of it. Laser landing to get another jump. That was cheeky. <laughs> there it is again. That's a grab. He did not get many grabs versus you. He ended up getting rests off the ones like that he did. Yeah, but so I wasn't prepared really to DI those up throws. Just because I, I guess I just wasn't expecting to get grabbed. Okay. Yeah. It looks a lot, though, that Toussaint uh, can play to the level of his opponent. Nor, no matter who it is. Yeah, like no matter no matter who he's playing, it's gonna end up being pretty even. Yeah. He looks like he has that like more serious attitude going into this, and he's playing like a little more aggressively, but with more intent. I don't know how to explain it. It's just something you see, and he's getting way more off of it too. Yeah, he's 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 being more reserved, but he's also cleaner with his approaches. Not, not many wasted uh, like, approaches at all. Like he, he even that stock uh, way faster than he has in the last few games. Ah, uh, caught slipping just to get the, the even stocks. It's always, it's always rough. Best combo in the game. It's easy to say, just, just DI, just hold left, man. Stop just hold me. Right. Sometimes you just weren't expecting the grab. You just get grabbed and you're like, oh, and then you're already up in the air. Even if you're both surprised, all Puff has to do is press up on the yeah. gray stick and you're up in the air and dead. Two in a row, right there. Stocks takes game two. Is that one? That was just one. That was just a quick update. One. This is our, our amazing professional stream runner over here. <laughs> Updating it before I'm even prepared to acknowledge that it's Tuesday and took the game. Um, still even. Yeah. The thing about the uh, whole up throw rest is Puff still gets so much off of it, even when they do DI it, right? Like, there's a situation where if Puff is facing inwards towards the stage and is on the ledge and gets that grab, if, um, if they DI towards Puff, they just get back aired off the stage. If they DI away from Puff, they get yeah, pounded, pounded, and then they're still off stage. Don't DI at all, they get arrested. There's really no winning. Quick reversal there. Saying up a stop. Oof. That is amazing spatial awareness to know that if I don't fade back immediately after this area, I'm gonna get up smash. 
amazing on slocks to even know that you can up smash anyway. Right? Clips. That's all he need. See, what I think is slocks has to play a quicker game, and the longer the set goes on, the worse he's gonna do because the jewel hit's running out. <laughs> Well, nothing's stopping him from hitting it mid mid game, even. That's true. If he needs it, he's he that looks power like he up. has that self control though to wait till between games. No, it looks like it, I can see the fiend in his eyes. He's thinking. He's not thinking about the game. He needs that jewel. That up air. Something. Just get it every quick now up and then. Up air and then I every can hit now and then they get that jump right there. Stuck. Nah, see, but now he's in the zone. He doesn't need anything. Melee's feeling him. Because that up B was unorthodox, it didn't get covered. That's what I love about this. You can throw out like options that shouldn't normally work, but because they don't normally work, they'll end up working. I love how they they played it out on, on the transformation. That's the most annoying thing for me when watching <laughs> Melee, is when it transforms and they just stand there on two sides of the stage. That's fear from both players. It's so annoying. It's just like, somebody, please, please grow a pair. But like, you don't think, should, do you think it should be frozen? Yeah, I think it, it should be frozen. That's even more of a benefit for, for just pretty much like, Fox Falco. I feel like Spacey's get a lot off of the transformations. It would be a better stage for Marth though, too, if it were frozen. Because you lose a minute every minute and a half of chain grabbable space. Yeah, it would become such a good Marth stage. It already is a really good Marth stage, but those those transformations just put it in both spaces favor so hard. It's a few percent away from losing that stack right there. Ooh. Cheeky went down a ledge. Could be a stock. Yeah. Good reactions. Turn around and take that. If all goes as planned, this is looking like we're going to have another few games to, to play on. Yeah, I'm predicting a 3-0 for this set. This is looking like he'll take his time to... But I have a feeling Slox is going to gonna pull it together for set two. At least to get us. I feel like we might see game five set two. I feel like that happens a lot where the first set is just a complete stomp and then oh yeah, all of a sudden it's a completely different player. You get to try out whatever you want during set one. That's that's honestly like the most like seasoned thing you can do is know you have a full set and take the full set to learn things to go into the next set and wash and win. We just gotta see it happen. Scared he's in his shield. Any back air will probably end up taking the stock. He's gonna get a crazy string here. Good 47% tacked on though. Quickly. He's getting closer and closer to death percent. Any soft aerial into an up smash will kill him. Just a few. Okay, and that's it. It's death percent. All it takes is one, one bad drift, and he's eating that up smash. He has not missed that. He's, he's doing I clenched a little great bit. job. <laughs> Always clenching. It's not even me on that screen. <laughs> that was an amazing ops attack. I didn't even know you could do it there. That's that's some stage awareness. That's that top 50 player stuff. It's that I play on a character Ooh. that wants to go to this stage. <laughs> yeah. Did you say you get the mini pop off? Yeah, it was it was looking like Slox was gonna gonna steal that from him. But two Game said no. Three. This is my W. There it is. Rip number three. Ooh, a longer one. Yeah, he needs this all the juice power, he can get. Power rip. Okay. Blew it right at us so we could feel it too. He wants us to know. 
you thought he was at Super Saiyan before. Here he is powering up again. Had to give him a give him a stock. That's how strong he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's down a stock. Came three. That that was the uh, the was nicotine rush just hit his brain in that moment. <laughs> the di went to his brain and his his eyes instead of his hands. It's another one. That's what you're talking about. Slight di out. Yep. Ooh, great angle though to come back. Rocking the O2. I know that. The O2 swag is something that Tissay normally has on. Because he was uh, at that... Was he at Summit when they were rocking it originally? The Summit before this last one? The O2 gear? I think that was a Shine thing. I, think I that know that he was he was one of the models for it, though. Yeah. And yeah, here we he have uh, Slox rocking the O2 tag. Down O2. Giving himself that motivation. Fight. Fight on the mountain. This is just going to be whoever misses a tech first. Yeah. He's just going to keep trying to smack him against the wall. That backboard. There it is. Ended up being slugs. And the worst for it. Now he's down two stacks. And he just went right back. He didn't care at all. He, he, he doesn't really have much to lose here. It's the third game of his first set. And he has another one behind him. Yeah, he's just going for things. Fun. Props. That's a and he did it. Let's go. Wow. Worked out. One for one. That's what I like to see. Taking risks and winning. Whoa. That was that was good. Yeah, I, I don't think entirely not DI sure dependent. I've seen that. Not the re grab. Could have rested him out of the first one. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There's the 30, as oh. you said. Two Saint with a quick reset. Yeah, Even playing field. Now I, I right back. I, I feel like this is kind of questionable because I know Slox's Falco is really good, but Two had a, a lot of good. He had the Falco up. practice yeah. leading up to this. So I don't know. I don't think this is the right call. Hey, he might know something we don't, but it does look like he's going for aerials over lasers. And I think that might be the what pays the price. Maybe. Maybe. I like how he went for a dare, and then he narrowed him out of it, which could have led to something. But most of the time against Puff, you could just kill Puff or get like an 80% combo. That's just dare. The tech loses the stock. Go for some. Uh... Ooh, some cheeks right there. I don't know. <laughs> Just ends up getting a raw forward smash. Don't need anything else. Guess not. So why why wasn't that working when I did it? <laughs> what, what, what do you know, Slox? You weren't doing it as much. I did it you once. You stuck to the gun. Yeah, I, I, I was shooting a lot. He's only done it once so far, too. But it worked. The one <laughs> it did work. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is way more fast paced than the, the way I was playing it. Yeah. Hey, it's more risky, but he's doing it right. My payoff. Yeah, it's working. I know that that one frame difference is enough to throw off a lot of people for like uh, acting out of shine with this character, like versus Fox and swapping right from it. Like, what, what do you jump mean? Jump squat. Oh, right. Frame. There's one more frame, and that like throws me off so much trying to act out of it. But he's got—he looks like he's warmed this up somewhere earlier today. Yeah, he was playing a lot of Falco today. He's played four characters in this. I already went to Falcon bracket. too. In yeah, he went finals. Falcon and Marth as well. He's got Look a it. repertoire. He's pulling out all the Connecticut stops. A little bit of everyone. Wasn't able to convert off the. Uh, that Randy Nair. Dash attack. Down a stock. Uh, I predict a grab. It's a little bit harder to close this gap when you're both playing aggressive. Oh, okay. when you trade. There's nowhere to go. I believe that's it. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. Four games in a row for two saves. It's a little... You think we'll see the mark? I think he's probably just going to stay with Falco. As much as he should. Oh, whoa, you called it. I... Uh, eaten my words. Let's go. He's just going to try everything. And when this loses, he's going to switch to Falcon. <laughs> That's it. It went in doubt. Okay. Use what works. Maybe I shouldn't talk shit so soon. If he was uh, a little bit closer to the edge, that, that kills no matter what your DI is. Let's go. This might be what he needs. This pace. Maybe. This is a. When you play Mars, no matter how fast you want to move, you're going a little bit slower and you think a little bit more about what you're doing. And that little bit is enough because he knows what he should be doing. He's a really good player. And this is a really underrated pick against Puff, too. Not sure how uh, how confident he is in his pivots, but if he is, then this could be a really skewed. Pivots are just something that takes Marth to another crazy level. Even without him, he yeah. wins this pretty comfortably. Could combine those with the dash grab so he can grab the crouch and it gets really tough for Puff. God, yeah. <laughs> Fortnite strikes again. Ooh, that was quick. Yeah, it looked like a, it looked like they traded a little bit so he could act sooner. And puff, puff, I really like puff combos. I feel like her combo structure is actually really sick. Up airs in the back airs and those. Another soft thing about aerials, the edge guard. Playing someone who has a main, like played Slox and you expect him to play Fox, but then even if Tusain has a really good Marth matchup. He's never played Slox smart. Yeah, so he like, has to adjust to this on the fly. Some like unorthodox style that's based on another character. So like he's playing Marth like he plays his Falco. And it's Falco's based on his Fox. <laughs> Double mix up. But there he is. Took the stock lead. His Marth. One thing that was crazy, uh Toussaint only had a stock lead on you in the last two games, I think. Or the last game. You always had a stock lead on him until last stock. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about in those two games. Every time he just come back. But here he is, holding it. I guess I gotta work on the holding those leads. Opting to go into the air more rather than staying on ground for the up tilt. That sucks. The only Mar uh, move that Marth has to cover below the ledge like that is forward smash, and you get caught in that and you're dead. So well, down tilt does too. But that's like right there. You have nothing to cover right below it, so Puff's up air is a little bit disjointed, and he just gets hit. That's game two. All right. You think the Falcon? It might, be, it might come out. May as well, he uh, might run that specifically back if he doesn't go Falcon. I, I say he's either going Falcon or he's going back to Fox. Because Fox has mm. did a lot better than any of his other characters. Yeah. He's taking game. Sometime in the past. There it is. Pokemon. There it is. I want to see the gun. Yeah. I want to see him run and gun. Seeing the 6 0. That was a good look at like it. Oh, okay. Didn't go for the Nair. Usually, Nair's. He hasn't. To cover that. That Marth play was the only time he had to really like step back and slow down the set so far. Here he is. Still not shooting. Alright, he got one. One laser. For his efforts. He looks like he's shooting and waiting for him to come in, though. He's not shooting yeah. and running. She's trying to trying to make him come in with the lasers, but with his stock lead, doesn't doesn't have to. Just stay at that ledge, off stage, camp him. Baited out an approach. Took the 
stock right back to neutral. Man's not even going for short hop double lasers. He's going for full hop triple lasers. And he's hitting some all three <laughs> at some points. A full puff hop and a full fox hop both even out. Some undiscovered meta right there. Okay. He's getting a little little more aggro now. He got the crouch cancel. He wasn't close enough to get the up smash out of it. Ooh, okay. Up air anyway. Yeah, he baited out the grab. Tomahawk. Well, that wasn't a tomahawk, but you know, missed the grab anyway. That's always deceiving too. You land right in front of them, and you still have time to shine them out of the grab. That was quick. When does the dash attack activate from Puff? He wave dashed through it. It's really fast. <laughs> Oof, ramen noodles. Shaking his head, both of them. He can't, he can't go down in stock here. It's gonna be the most dangerous thing. He's gotta clean up this stock first. And then keep going back in like he is. If he really wants to keep this lead. Getting too antsy. That was good. Yeah. I feel like he needs to needs to be more ambiguous with his movement. He's either going he's straight dedicated. in or he's sitting back and shooting lasers and it's very clear which one he's doing. Racked up a good amount of percent. He's gonna get a few more straight hits and then keep fishing for these up smashes, is what it looks like. Yeah. Re reverse 30 on the way? He's on the way. There we go. 2 1. Slocks takes a game after 5. Got on the board. Yeah, it's just a moment where you gotta collect yourself and, like, okay, almost got 6 0 I didn't. I'm on the board. I could start ma turning this around. Only needs two more. He knows he has the tools. He just has to control the pace of the set. He definitely was not before. Looks like he's carrying the momentum from last game forward Definitely. into here. He's got that little bit of confidence. That's all he needed. Stock right there. How much can he get off this? 25. Solid. He just wants to get it quick and get it gone. Yeah, you, you don't you don't want to worry too much about getting huge punishes against Puff. Just and you don't want to go for some you... fancy long string that might end up getting killed for. Yeah, just maybe one, two, two to three hit combo. Plenty. Back off. Reset it. He went for the no laser combo, straight into the grab, straight into the back air. Oh. That's, that's rough. No, the SD into charge the up smash on the ledge. Ooh, almost. Pretty bad. Good DI. Good DI. I think he, I don't think he would have died from it unless he DI'd it straight out. Wow, Looked okay, like no getting, DI. Getting a little clobbered now. Just, oh, oh wow. just eating it. All right. Hit after hit. Tournament stock. This is going to be uh, it's gonna, this is one big hill to climb up. Yeah. Making this comeback and then winning the next game after that, oh. that would be legendary. You know what? I I'm not counting could, him out. No, I think he could He's do right it. back in neutral. There's one. One stock down. Look at the fiend in his eyes. He's locked he in. He wants this. He's locked and loaded. Didn't get the game. Oh, Always oh, off stage. That. Yep. It's looking like curtains. 
good games. All right. Toussaint takes it from losers, 6-1. Six one. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's uh, like a game which makes me kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the last time you guys played was at a the Hall Hog. of Gaming Monthly. Yeah, Giga Hog. Um, I heard that was also. They're both game five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. But I won them both, so. Let's Damn. Go. <laughs> All right, you know that from winning this, you also got your entry venue hotel to yeah. defend the North, bro. How do you feel about that? I've, I'm very ecstatic because that's what I came here for, you know? Like, oh, yeah. I had, that, I had my eye on the prize. And Let's go. Actually achieving that, is, it's it feels great. Awesome. Who'd you have to go through to get here? I saw that you... Oh, I lost the fidget. Double slocks. Yeah. Yeah. Fish it. Man, dude. His DK, something serious. It, something serious. No one expects it. Yeah. Two owed me. Clean. <sighs> outplayed. And then, um... After that, I did a lot of thinking. I was like, man, like, even though I'm in losers, I can still just bring it back. Like, like he played well, like, so I need to just play, like, a lot better. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just bring it back, just bring it back through losers, and I did. I was on the mic for your, uh, I think the rest of your top eight losers games. Um, when I saw the way that you changed up pace a little bit in the games in a row from Haas to JJM to yeah. Slocks again. Double um, slocks. Again. You got, you got punished for being on the ground versus Haas in the first game. Yeah. And then slowly you got a little bit more off the ground, bit by bit, and just started beating him more and more. Ha you got to JJM. Haas was honestly one of the scariest people. To, to <laughs> play he he uh, said the same thing. He said he came here with his eye on that. Uh, he said, "I'm only going to defend the North if I <laughs> if I win this tournament, and get oh, it free." But yeah, he, he could have definitely that. took it too. He he was playing really well. And, um, but I had to do it to him. I had you to, had to do it to him. Had to it was on him. your mind. You came and got it. Yeah. Had to I, go through slacks for it, too. Yeah, I definitely had to go through those slacks. So you saw him uh, playing, like, he just came into you nonstop. He did. He, do, he does just, that. You it's, beat him up for it. Yeah, I, I've analyzed the, the Gigahawk sets, and I was like, word, okay. That's, yeah. I don't know if he did the same. I don't think That's so. That's definitely where you got the edge. He's, I saw the same thing. I, it was like I was watching the video. Yeah. Damn. That's, That's a read like. and a half. Then he Just went, keep going for it. Yeah. His Falco and his Marth, though, I had to take that seriously, though. Yeah. I know Slox is an amazing player, and, like, his other characters can can bring it out on me. <laughs> like He pulled out the bird, uh... And he didn't laser you. That's that was like shocking. Yeah, he, he was played just, the same style like his fox. Yeah, he, he lost for it. And then I, I called him pulling out the Marth. He did it. Almost, uh, almost got me with the Marth. But I was just like, all right, I don't think you know the matchup. So still slow it down. Yeah, slow it down. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna do a little cheese stuff. Like I did like back air forward smash, like the back air whiffs. Yeah, and then I just forward smash after. Oh, that's a good like, play. Yeah, it's just a classic. Like yo, you're gonna come in. Uh, I heard someone on the mic at uh. What was it? Summit. They that's were summit. talking about you uh, playing with Cody. Uh, yeah, and they that's were like, I... Toussaint, like, he's the second best puff in the world. Oh, that's hype. <laughs> like, who, that's who's, hype. who else is out there? Tech is like Tech the is next inactive. one after you. I think yeah, Michael's really good. Michael's really Michael. good. 47. Right. I mean, not 47. I think I are you, you're ranked above him. Yeah. Wait. No, Michael? wait, no. Michael's. No, Michael's, Michael's ranked above me because he, he'd be beating up on Falcons. Like none and S2J. Falcons. I don't have the same uh, accords, uh, but uh, yeah. I, I think I have like pretty good wins this year. Maybe I could be above him. But in terms of, I don't really consider rankings as like. Oh, definitely not set yeah. in stone. You've got the whole year. It's one number based on your last year, but then yeah. you're still playing. Yeah. So. I, I don't think I'm really going to care about rankings until I'm like fi top 15, which I think I could oh, do sure. very soon. You think I, Cody's up there right now? Cody is definitely top He's 15. He's definitely there right now. Like, oh, it's it's been an amazing grind with um, Cody. Honestly, seeing him do so well at Summit, like, really made me feel like I cried. Like, I cried. Oh, little dude, tears. I was I was emotional. I was hype. Yeah. New York for life. But I, I just really want to catch up to him at this point. Dude, for sure. If you keep playing like that and you analyze your sets yeah. and start beating up on people the way you do after one set analysis, dude, keep it going. Six one. I'm kind of mad. Oh, dude, good stuff. It. Thank you. It was fun to watch. Good luck.